What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Civilization 6 as Hungry. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. We're finally, um, not, I don't want to say not, not that we haven't had interesting ones recently, but we've finally got over the hump of dying pretty early on. It's actually turned 200 already, so we're a lot deeper in the game than it feels. But yeah, we've gotten over that hump, I think, some of our recent games. And we've also got one that we've not just won easy. Like, this is a nice balance right now. We could win this game. We could also, like, not win it. We could mess it up pretty badly. What is going on? My mouse, my microphone, <laughs> and keyboard is on top of my mouse. So that's, that's why that's not moving properly. Let me just move that wire. Oh, there's another... What is this wire? I don't even know what half of these wires are for. There we go. Mouse. Come around. There we go. That, that's better. <laughs> Got a little bit more movement before I could, like, just tilt it, like, about two degrees, and it was just dragging everything along. There we go. We're better now. We could get a bombard in ten turns. I'm not going to do that. We'll get a trader. We'll we'll be smart. Use that city's build to get a trader. I can now get my first bombard, and we'll go with this one because it's already got two promotions as opposed to that one, but this should be pretty useful. And there we go. That should help in the Siege of Rio. We needed something like that. That should be able to do quite a bit of damage. Now I did look, our ability does make the uh, units we levy stronger, so I'm still tempted, but to be honest I'm not sure how many they have left. <laughs> Obviously both these city-states are at war with Brazil, so I'm not sure exactly how that's going. But yeah, we'll start to have a little poke around. Let's have a little look, see what's going on over here towards the capital. But yeah, Brazil's tech is scary. Their units in particular, they don't have many, but the ones they do have are really good are really good compared to ours, so that is a problem. But as you see, they only have 34 military strength there. Um, ours is at 430, so, you know, that's quite a quite a contrast, so we should be okay. But yeah, it looks like their units are not sort of lurking around in front of us. So that is some good news, at least. There's another catapult here, actually. We'll try and get these close as we can. Um... Swordsman, catapult. This is pretty quick, but obviously I want the bombard, and that requires Nita. Where is this anyway? This is Hattusa. This has been a great city um, that we since we've conquered it, so I'm grateful for that. Right, foreign ministry, free diplomatic favor, leveraging city states costs half gold. There's no other choice, is there? Like we have to, as Hungary. I haven't done it yet, but like that ability, it links into our initial ability. Uh, that just seems so. So OP. And we're going to appoint Reyna. We'll put her in... Uh, wait, what is her basic ability? Or oh, we've got her now, but... Acquire new tiles for... Three gold for each foreign trade route passing through this city. I'm, I'm just guessing. I'm guessing this city might benefit the most from that. You know, because Buddha will send its trade. Although that said, there's no road this way, so maybe not. I don't know, but... Maybe... Uh, but, like, no one trades with this city, surely. Like, there's no road here. Estegom. Hattusa's pretty well connected, actually, so we'll go ahead and try that one. I don't know. I, oh, the gold just went up by 14, I believe, so that's that, that works. That's great. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that. Refuse deal. But yeah, getting this um, foreign ministry, that'll be great. Half price. We're going to be able to just levy all the city-states to be super OP. We're going to need them, because Ethiopia are looking strong right now. Um, they're making 71 science, we're making 73, Brazil 75, and then Carthage or Phoenicia is on 40. Right, I'm going to try and move in um, all my units at the same time, because we've had some issues um, before with the pacing of which I've attacked some of these sieves. Um, and, you know, my catapults are all sort of, one. they all get hit once a turn, they don't get to shoot, so we're going to make sure they all arrive at once, and that's all good. Do we want to bank up here? Yeah, we're fine. We don't need a bigger military just yet. I think we're all good on that front for now. Right, highest gold. Addis Ababa is a pretty good trade route. Quite a long one, but there we go. We'll build We'll build on that. Keep it going. Stay friendly with Ethiopia. Are they stronger than us military? -wise? They're much stronger. They're not stronger than us, but they're much stronger than Brazil who currently only have nine. Whatever that. that that's one unit with very low health somewhere. So that, that that's all we need to know about them, I guess. Right. This black army unit is going to come in, make it look like we're very close. Hopefully they'll shoot that unit because it was here first. The bombard can then swing in. I'm a bit nervous about putting it there, but it'll be fine. And then we'll bring in our crossbowman and start with a ranged attack that does nothing. So this bombard, no pressure bombard, but you've got a lot of pressure. <laughs> you know, no pressure, but plenty of pressure. You better get this... Better be really good, because if not, we're absolutely screwed. Right, we have got a great engineer. 
uh, is this a great engineer? Sorry, great merchant, I think. Trade routes to your own cities give us gold, and we gain an envoy. Okay, that's not ideal, but I'll take the envoy. That's more money for us as well with our current policies. There is not many city-states left for me to even be the suzerain of. Um, and I haven't made an effort with these guys. 14 pop, that is that is nice. Um, we'll try and get Kaguana back. There we go, off Dido. I don't know if that's possible. Don't know exactly what, what they've put in there. Yes, we'll stay friends. Yeah, let's see. I'm, this is going to be a painful turn. Like, some unit is going to get... Okay, that's not too bad. That's actually really good. I mean, if they're going to shoot the crossbowman, I'll take it. And here we go. We complete the Great Zimbabwe Wonder. I think I've done it before, but doing it again. Um, quite a nice one to, to add to our list. And yeah, I mean, at least we've got one. That is something. And it looks pretty cool as well. I don't know where this is, but I, I, King Solomon. That was out of the Middle East. But then it's called Zimbabwe. So there you go. I have no idea. But that looks pretty cool, to be fair, just in the middle of our middle of our territory. So we'll take that. That looks nice. All right, here we go. Ranged attack from the catapult. God, that is some crippling damage to those walls. Okay, even the bomber did basically nothing, so that is a little alarming. Um, <laughs> okay, fair enough. We're going to have to struggle bus our way through this one and just, you know, be persistent and hope that they don't attack my my three units. And hopefully we'll get some more bombards by the time we actually get going. Right, so what do we want? Where is this? This is the capital Buddha. We can for temples. Should we get our religion back? I mean, I think it's been kicked out. Oh no, it's still in Buddha. It is actually. How did it make it? It made it back into this city, which is impressive because I didn't do anything um, to do that. We can get another trader. We've still got plenty of slots open. So yeah, that's three and two. Quickly get two more trade routes up. We're not, yeah, we've not got really high gold producing trade routes just yet. They're all still like sevens and sixes. Nothing going over the sea. Is it also an issue? I actually haven't built a boat. That is something I could probably buy one now to explore the coast a little bit. Um, trade route sent to this chosen player. Provide four gold to the sender. Let's, do I want to make Ethiopia stronger? Not really. I'll go with Phoenicia and throw four votes that way. Four votes on me there. That's only half our voting power. Not the most important votes. So we'll save some of that diplomatic favor. Here we go. We did win this one. And then... That went to somebody else who we don't know, so that's fine. I'm, I'm kind of nervous, like the unmet sieves could just be absolute monsters. <laughs> um, we can't afford any of the boats that are available to me, so never mind. We don't have as much gold as I thought. Um, Privateer, yep, I'll go with that. Right, the bombard was not, they did kill the crossbowman. That, okay, they did more damage the second time. I guess the crossbowman was weaker. But here we go. If we can get through the blue parts, we could struggle our way through that. Um, we should be okay. Hopefully they keep attacking my melee units. I'm just going to put them all sort of close by so that they, you know, give them a good choice of who to shoot at and maybe they'll just keep going to the same ones. There we go. We're doing a tiny bit of damage. Oh my goodness, that is a long time for those productions. Um, where is it? Caravel 24. I mean, that is not great, but what can I do? I mean, how much is a factory? Workshop 780. We could buy one of those pretty soon. I guess I'll save up by the workshop and then hopefully that'll knock a few turns off. We could do with a builder on that city, to be honest. There's a lot of unimproved resources. So it's so dark in my room. It's half one <laughs> in the daytime, not at nighttime. I just want to make that, that point sort of clear. It is half one in the daytime here in the, U and in the UK, and it is very dark. In fact, you can see that. It says right here, PM, not AM. Not a late, Not a late night recording kind of person. Right, here we go. There's another trade route. Another great person as well. I can actually purchase a great person with my faith. I don't know what type that was. We'll go back and check. Ancient walls. None of those wonders, please. That takes forever. Yeah, let's get some builders for our civilization. What are you going to do? Science for each adjacent natural wonder tile. So here would be good. You get two points each there. And I mean, I literally can't see another one. So, I mean, here... Okay, can you stand in the fountain, though? I'm, here would be the best one, right? Because it's surrounded by five. Wait, no. But the outside ones don't count. See, in the middle is not technically adjacent, is it? I, I, don't, I don't know how it works, to be honest. I'll just do the easy op uh, option and go in the middle here. This is still surrounded by, like, five others, so we'll, we'll, that'll be fine. Um, your pledge is fulfilled. Uh, I think that was to Ethiopia, because I completely lied to Brazil. This was obviously in the video that sort of got deleted, but I 
I promised Brazil I wouldn't attack and then did the very next turn. So, you know, just George things. Okay, right. Crossbowman. Switch out. Keep healing. Okay, hopefully they leave the Bombard alone. Come on. Oh, we're chipping away so slowly with our out-of-date units. I wonder, is it worth just ramming this unit into the city? I, I have no idea. No, that was a disaster, but... Oh, they're going to kill that unit now. Okay, never mind. We tried. Um, is there another unit that I can just sort of get a bit closer just to maybe try and lure them to shoot that instead? Go on, Luke. Kill that swordsman. Right, great person. Great engineer is available. Oh, someone bought it. I think it was a great merchant, maybe. Or maybe it was a great engineer and we got it anyway. But I don't know. But we cannot afford any of these anymore. Uh, well, that is a much better trade route than some we've been getting. I'll take that. I guess maybe it's culture bomb adjacent tiles when completing an industrial zone in any city. Oh, so this is not city specific, right? This is just anywhere. Okay. It is a shame that I've uh, already used... I guess we just got the culture bomb anyway. I'm just guessing with what just happened. We got all that faith. Um, maybe we just got it anyway. But Because I was going to say we already had all the industrial zones. So that is a bit weird. Plus three. That is nice. And I don't even know if that tile is like, workable. Because if it's, if it's being worked, probably not because of how many we have. So yeah, we'll take that. Gain 500 science. How many tech? Industrialization is done in five. I think that's now completed. Yep. Lovely. Do we get one turn on the next one too? Okay, we need to pick this wisely. Let's scroll across. We're here joint with Brazil. Us and Ethiopia. Now we're behind on siege tactics. Own two bombards though, I'm probably going to do. Although it is one turn. I don't know if we need to worry about boosting these things. Um, have two forts. We're probably not going to get that done. What is that? That is our other unique unit. We can't get that right now. Two turns, one turn. Everything looking so good right now. Canal... Railroad, Panama Canal, no, hmm, what is tempting me? I mean, it's one turn, I, it doesn't really matter, but we'll go with Siege Tactics, I guess. It, it's one turn. <laughs> I wonder what the next one will be after this one turn, because I think we just got a good amount of science, so um, we might still get another like reduced one as well, which we will certainly make the most of. That was a much bigger peace offering from Brazil, so they are clearly scared of using Rio. I don't know who they attacked that turn. Um, this unit was already low, so I, I and, but no one died, so I have no idea. Did they just not bombard? I that would be weird. Um, I don't know why they would opt not to. I, it doesn't cost anything. Like, I assume your walls getting low doesn't stop it. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Maybe they just chose not to. Um, <laughs> out of kindness, I. It's a strange one, but uh, okay. I mean, I'm not going to complain about it, that's for sure. Uh, up to three turns on the technology. So not 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 amazing, but not too bad either. It might let us catch up. Uh, we're up to first in production. Fifth on land, one on gold, fourth on crop yield, number one on soldiers, fourth on population. But we have knocked Brazil off top spot. And as you can see, our value to the top spot is not that big a difference. Like Everyone's very close. So by the time we conquer... We mitigated a flood. Nice, it worked. The dam has saved the day. Phew, a worthy investment. And we finally... Nope, don't breach the walls. Okay. Combat strength v. District defences. I, I don't know if the city counts. I'm going to hazard a guess it does, because districts don't really have defences, do they? Like, you didn't say... You wouldn't say, like, a, a regular district has defences. Only the encampment does. And then it would just say v. encampments, right? That would... So surely it does include cities. Like that would make sense to me anyway. I might be wrong. We'll find out. We're, we're slowly, slowly cracking down on Rio. As long as we're careful, we should be okay. Yeah, they shoot the crossbowmen, but they can just move away. The other catapult is also um, almost ready to come in. First of all, I need to put them in my own territory. Oh, I'll go back. Okay, we're going to upgrade them to a bombard and bring them back. This will get us through the walls, and now it should be a little bit easier. Into the yellow. There we go. Slowly but surely getting Rio. And this is going to be the big one. This is a big city for us to get. It's 13 pop. It will, of course, pretty much end Brazil's game. Um, they will still have Brasilia and Curitiba, which I'm not sure we'll go after those, but um, we'll see. And it also does look like they are going to get Recife. Uh, to the south here, back off Phoenicia, or it'll at least be a free city. 
Um, okay, Bournemouth. I could have upgraded them, but as they haven't, they've just been sat there. No one, they haven't tried to stop them. Like, oh, no, no, <laughs> I was supposed to upgrade it. Okay, we should be fine. We should be time-wise fine. Um, there's a lot to do here. Like a farm just seems like the easy option, doesn't it? Um, I also really wanted it to go over to this city because it needs so much help. But we can now afford that workshop I promised this city, which knocked a whole three turns <laughs> off that production. Factory is there, eight turns. That is nice. Okay, yeah, we'll have to get that. I was, I was tempted by the amphitheater, but yeah, no. I know culture's doing bad, but factory, too good. Um, nothing here really appealing. I'm going to get another builder. Um, just because there's nothing super appealing. We are about to get our foreign ministry. I can't wait. I just want to see how much gold it's going to cost me to levy some of these city-states. Because it is going to be so low. I am very excited for that. But that will be it for this episode. Next episode, we should be conquering Rio de Janeiro. But yeah, that will be it for this one. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like on the video. Be sure to leave a comment. And if you are new to the channel, it would be awesome if you could subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.